Miami quarterback Tua Tagovailoa went down with another concussion today and displayed the fencing response directly following impact. Let's break down why this occurs with an intention to raise awareness for traumatic brain injuries. We see Tua lower his head and he sustains a direct axial load that compresses at the top of his head. You combine this with this rotation where his head is being knocked off to the side and the combination of these causes the brain to rapidly accelerate and decelerate while also rotating and twisting inside the skull causes damage and temporary dysfunction of this region of the brain called the brainstem, which is responsible for motor reflexes and even regulating your breathing and heart rate. The fencing response, which is sometimes observed after a concussion or TBI, is thought to be linked to the reactivation of a primitive reflex we all had as babies, the asymmetric tonic neck reflex. In a healthy adult, the higher brain sensors, like the cerebral cortex, usually suppress these reflexes. When the brainstem is temporarily damaged, it can block communication with the higher brain centers. This loss of control from the higher centers is thought to reactivate the primitive reflexes through disinhibition. This response is now part of the NFL's no-go symptoms, which rule out a player immediately. This is the reason why the medical team ruled out Tua within six minutes of the injury occurring. This is one of multiple concussions Tua has had over the past few years and it's going to raise concerns about whether he should even continue to play, wishing him a safe and speedy recovery.